All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. We got the big, well, actually, none of this is new to y'all because y'all have been watching me, and we dropped this information like two or three days ago. The boy Ron Jesus and everybody else, they hooked us up. My guy, I had somebody, you know, people, you know, we, we, we been having this information, even going to the bottom of the internet. We had all of this, but it's good to have validation and confirmation so whatever you do man like the video we're gonna go through this whole courtside blog part three and we're gonna get right into it right after this Nito! if you make it to c25 that's og status i was told you could be anything just don't be average down bad flat pockets that shit made me upset start hustling non-stop don't plan on breaking that head now like i said man if y'all don't do nothing else like the video man just because we about to go through this. If you're at work, you ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm going through this. No gameplay, no background, no none of that because y'all will see in one second why none of that is necessary. NBA 2K21, next gen gameplay, courtside report. Uh, this is number three. Let's just go through it real quick, man. NBA 2K21, next gen gameplay, courtside report. Let me see, hi again, 2K fans. Welcome to the finals courtside uh, report. Uh, here's a few things, blah, 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 we discussed. Bro, we don't care about none of this stuff. This is what we're talking about. Player bills, badges, and takeovers. This is what we were talking about. We already told y'all about all this stuff, man. My videos don't go out because they don't get, because y'all don't like them. So they don't go out. Notifications don't go out. So I get zero views. But we're going to do this anyway. Please like the damn video. It don't cost you nothing. It don't take you no time. It's like, bro, why I got to sit here and beg for likes? I'm busting my ass every day, putting out two to three videos, doing all this content, and I can't even get a like. Don't y'all understand that if you don't like the video, the channel won't grow because YouTube literally links the likes to recommend it as well as the notifications. So the people that subscribe to me don't even get the videos. That's why I'm getting, like, it, it, it is what it is, man. I, I don't know, that's a whole nother rant. But anyway, player builds, badges, and takeover. The next gen player builder is, is all about customization. We've taken a lot of feedback from the community over the over the past few years, and we've evolved the my player building experience. One thing that we one thing that we hear loud and clear from you is no, I mean that you want way that you want more options. Uh, here's our response: No more pie charts. We told y'all this yesterday, man. It says you no longer choose from a pre a preset skill breakdown pie chart uh, for next for next gen. Instead. We've given you control over setting each individual rating to the cap that you prefer. Obviously, there will be restrictions based on your vitals, and and you can and you can't max out everything. But there, but well, let's see. But there's much more control to take. Tell me to make the exact type of player that you want to be. Now, I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how good this is gonna be, man. This game got the potential to be hella cheesy. So right here we got a guy. He's uh six foot five, and he's he's um he's six foot five, two hundred and five pounds. So we're just gonna look at some stuff, man. And this is what and I just said. I, can we see how many points we got to work with? It doesn't say how many points we have to work with, right? Like it does. Okay, so let's look at this whole thing. I'm trying to see how many points we got to work with. But as you can see, your badge potential grows. And just like we said, as you do it, you see how that goes up. But the more, so now you can get acrobat on bronze or something like that. Once you put your shooting up, your mid range, now you can get certain badges, difficult shots, and all these different badges. They can, you can get them on either uh, gold or hall of fame. Man, this thing got the potential to be hella cheesy. And I'm gonna tell you why. Like, I wish you could see. I wish there was somewhere where I could see the, the amount of points uh, that he had to apply. But I can't see. I, I'm not able to see. You know where where they are. I can't. I can't see where they are. Maybe they put them out. Maybe they put them out of the uh, picture for for um. You know for whatever sake. But bro, look. This is the thing that I'm saying though. Uh, I guess we can't see it until they apply some some stuff so we can't see what the upper limit on these caps are uh but i want to i guess we'll go back and look at it and and look at it uh somewhere else but like look at look at what you can do though look at the speed you can put the speed up the speed at 79 right now all right so this is 79 right now so you get the different badges based upon your defense and stuff like that wow 
So this got the potential to be really good or really bad, but let's just look and see what they've done because just looking at this, you can put your three ball up to nine. This six five point guard can put his three ball up to 95 and he can have very high dunking too and some respectable ball handling. But I see what it is though, man. Like you can put your defense all the way up and you can have your perimeter defense all the way up. Your interior defense is only gonna go so far. So we can see the caps, the uh, imposed caps. But like I said, that, that looks like he can have a 99 steal. Uh, looks like your speed can go up to probably 95, something like that. So we it, it looks like you can do everything dang, dang near free form. But like, I, I bet a lot of people could probably go not even put nothing on shot close and then make it so, you know, what, drive and dunk, drive and lay up, max that joint out, and then uh, max out the, bro, you gonna have these dudes back from like, like the balance, like the outside point guards from 2K16 that can just do everything. I don't know how good this is, man, but you know uh, how positive it is or what have you. I'm gonna have a center that can shoot threes and play, play all the defense and be as fast as I possibly can. That's what I'm gonna have. Look, next we got the little takeover joint, man. And uh, you know, you can see that Ron Jesus was right. Like, look at that. You got a two-way shot creator, but he's selecting the primary and the secondary takeover. So you can have your, you can have your, uh, and just look at what some of these are. So primary, uh, bro, can we get this out of the way? The primary one is like, uh, it's just a shot creator. So it says your, your pull up precision, and maybe we should maybe I should have done another video to break this down. Ankle, ankle breaking shots. So it says increase the likelihood of dropping defenders and making step backs and spin jumpers. Uh you got the uh, negative impact, reduce the impact of the shot creators. Uh the shot create what is it? The shot contest. Oh, yeah, so they can't they can't really contest your shot when you're doing something. You saw that limitless range, right? So you can have limitless range on it um, and extend the range. Okay, so I, I can understand that so spot up precision. Uh, provides a significant boost. So, so like, let's say somebody like Brute will probably put this on limitless range because he's he's gonna be shooting from out there, so he can shoot from further back. Me, I would put it on spot up precision because I just want to catch and shoot the ball and be able to do that. And then, so you let him build a two way shot creator or what have you like that. So, I mean, that's cool right there, man. And then let's just go straight into the badges. Badges a lot. It just says a lot of thought and redesign, a lot of thought and redesign went into the badges for next gen. My favorites my favorites return, but most have undergone, if I put this on this right here, would this work better for me? Yes, we got dark mode, like my boy said, yes. Uh, many favorites, but most, most have undergone significant functionality changes. There are also some new ones. Uh, let's see, there are also some new ones, some revived ones, and some removed ones. Uh, the badges, the badge point system and the equip, equipping process is similar to what you've, what you've grown accustomed to, uh, accustomed to. Perform well in various categories, finishing, shooting, blah, 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 in any mode to earn badge points. Okay, so it sounds like the badge points is back to how it was, because we can't go back. The, the other thing was a step backwards. And then apply those points to whatever, uh, to, to whatever badges you want within those related categories. Uh, but my advice when you, when you get next gen is to experience, is to experiment with different badges that you that you might that you may have overlooked in the past uh because it, you might find that some some new favorites it's because you might find some new favorites that that complement your play style uh that you did not that you may not have expected here are some here are some of the new returning badges new return fearless finisher what let's see boost contact layups and stuff uh, boost contact layups and uh increases and decreases fatigue heat seeker Boost takeover, pro boost takeover progress on inside shots. Okay, heat seeker, uh, highlight film, boost teammate takeover progress. So that's like, uh, that's what's the name? This is like, uh, what's the what's the one we got already? Not, um, in, you know, the, it's highlight film. We know what that is, man. It's the same. A uh, showtime is what that is. Hook specialist, boost hook shot ability. Bro, can we get that out of the game? Post hooking. I already know this, but you want revived post score contact dunks. What? Oh, this is a revived one. So post score is is post. Oh, posterizer. Posterizer is back. What? Posterizer. So you get more contact dunks. Okay, that's dope. Uh, rise up boost ability to do a standing dunk in traffic. That could be really cheesy. Anti freeze. Harder to get cold and lose take over meter progress. So that's gonna be. So now, heart crusher. We ain't as worried about heart crusher because we got a counter 
to heart crushing. This is what we've always been talking about. Nobody cares what happens as long as we got counters. I should be able to counter heart crushing. So antifreeze, okay. I mean, I ain't gonna never use it because we don't make mistakes like that, but I'm just saying. Blinders, less affected by peripheral defenders when shooting jump shot. So if the dude is behind you on your side, on your left, I got blinders on. I can't see nothing but the goal. It's just like my homeboy used to say when we used to play in the run and shoot back in 99 to 2005. That joker said, I don't see no defense. I said, I'm right here in your face. He said, bro, I don't see no defense. That's how I got to see. So you coming at me from the side and all that running at people from the side and just trying to affect their shot, it's not going to work anymore. Uh, circus threes. What? Improved ability to hit, pull up, and step back threes. Yep, that could be... Uh, yeah, yeah, I ain't trying to hear none of that, bro. That's 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 the bad badge. I don't like badges that that make people shoot bad shots. Fade Ace is back. Fade Ace is back. Boost all post fadeaways. Fade Ace is back. I don't know why they don't got revived by that. Uh, hot shot. Increase takeover meter faster when knocking down jumpers. Yes, please. Yes, please, because Brute don't do nothing but pass the ball. Just imagine when Brute throw me one of them flashies, and I catch that, and he got flashy passer on, and I got on, I got, ooh, deep threes? Okay, Damon Curry range three ball, so it look like range extender has been broken broken up. Maybe it's going to be range extender still, and then you're also going to have deep threes, but hey, I'm going to have that on. Rhythm shooter, boost shot percentages out of uh, size ups as well as uh, one-step pull-ups. Okay, rhythm shooter, so that's somebody that like to shoot off the dribble and stuff like that. Set shooter, yes please, let me get that. Uh, shooting ability gets better the longer you set and wait for uh, before pulling. Brad, see, brute make you wait, wait about 15 minutes before he passed that ball to you, he gonna hit the dude with the <laughs> Go to the rim, just think about this. I'm gonna be setting for like 15 seconds because brute gonna come down, hit the dude with the <laughs> If I'm open, obviously he gonna hit me straight up. But he gonna hit the dude with the <laughs> go to the rim, and as soon as as soon as the dude jump, he kick it out. Well, I've been standing out there for 20 seconds. I've been waiting all my life for this trays up splash down. I like that man set shooter. The longer you set before you know and wait before you pulling, you good. Um, sniper boost the ability to hit shots using the pro stick. Amy! <laughs> Just for me, for me, shot stick gang about to get a whole lot bigger. Sniper boost the ability to hit shots when using pro stick, ain't it? Boy, y'all, y'all tripping, boy. This game was made for me. Uh, let me see. I'm already shot stick king. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get even better. Okay. Uh, stop and pop three. Uh, for the JJ Reddicks who want to pull up uh, for threes in transition. I like that. So they should have said Reggie Miller, but I, I can take that. Bullet pass that gives you the ability to throw laser dots. Oh, uh, it's really darts, but. You know, we can't talk, so we're going to say that. Like LeBron, we know Brute going to have that because LeBron is his favorite player. Relay passer, a booster. Ooh, pass to assist. The one-two pass that I always talk about. I always throw that one-two pass catch. And the one more pass, a lot of y'all probably don't know about that because y'all don't pass to assist like we do. But, boy, that one-two pass, Brute pass it to me, and I can change it to Gambit because he wild. Ooh, that's going to be dope. I like these teammates, these team-oriented badges. Special delivery. I spit it out. Special delivery. I want one. Boost takeover progress for the passer and the receiver. Off of flashy pass assist. Woo, bro. Put that special delivery on. Cause that's all you do is throw them damn flashes. I be hating them shit sometimes, but I love it. I love it because it works for us and he gets his takeover. Now I'll get mine off of it. That's gonna be dope. Uh ankle brace. Maybe that's maybe that's what they were saying. Ankle stabilizer was, but uh makes it tougher for ball handlers to break your ankles. As long as they're counters, I'm with it. I'm with it. Clutch defender, boost the defensive rating in clutch moments. So we got clutch shooter, we got clutch defender. You see what I'm saying? We got balance. Here come the hot step, uh, hot, hot stop. I thought it said hot stepper. Here come the hot, the hot stopper. Uh, boost takeover meter for good defensive plays like steals, blocks, and good content. Boy, that's gonna be dope, man. And there, are, and there, and here are the badges that we um, that we retired because because they were either redundant, didn't fit the new design, or the community just didn't uh, like them. Consistent finisher, nobody used that. Contact finisher, we used it, but eh, you know, it is what it is. But they brought back posterizer, so that's that's why that's out of there. Cross key score, I don't even think people even understood what that was. That's for like people that like to run across the paint and fade across the paint, or like reverses and stuff, but nobody even knew what it was. Fancy footwork, they took it out. Uh, fast break finisher, yeah, it was kind of redundant because all this being rolled in. Deep hooks, yes! 
supposed to, but see, they brought back, but they made uh, what they what they said they call what they call it now. They took out deep hook, but they took hook specialist. So I, I, I yeah, so I guess it was redundant. Pick and roll, and nobody used that. Um, well, they did use it, but you didn't need it in this game. Uh, relentless finisher. Like I said, we did. That's redundant. Show times. Deep fades. They took that out, but we got fades. Flexible release. No! Oh, no! I abused flexible release. Especially on Hall of Fame. Hot start. Yeah, that's that's a terrible badge, but it works. I like it. Uh, pick and popper. Yeah, no need. P uh, pick, pump fake maestro. Terrible badge. We ranked that yesterday. Uh, range extender. Because you got deep threes, you don't need it. Uh, quick draw. Uh, yeah, I'm glad they took that out of the game. That's already y'all steady shooter. Yeah, thank goodness that's gone. That's a trash badge. It was an ish tier badge. I call it a shit tier badge, but it is what it is. Uh, pass fake maestro. Garbage tier badge. Uh, flashy passer. We already got that because we, we got flashy passer because we got special delivery. Lob city passer. Um, you didn't even need it. You you got people throwing and catching lobs without that. Uh, lightning reflexes. Nobody used that badge because we didn't understand it. The moving truck. You don't need it. And uh, and then so like I guess this is these are the new bags. This what's that? I don't know what that's gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be posterizer. That's obviously highlight reel, and that's obviously bullet pass. What's that Spartan one? Um, that's probably gonna be fearless finisher, probably something like that. Um, and these are just some of the badges that they got. I don't know why they got this clown badge on there. That's the I ain't gonna say that. Uh, but a lot of these joints look good. Look at that ankle brace, so you don't get your ankles broken. Uh, broken that bad. Uh, takeover. Let me see who's calling me. Spam wrist. Takeover in takeover in in case you uh in case you're new to the NBA 2K NBA 2K takeover is the ability to get hot and take over games. Uh, it's a pop it's been popular feature for the past couple of years and we and we wanted to take it to the next level. Instead of limiting players players to eight general archetypes based on takeovers, we've broken those into 24 24 more specific takeover abilities in a way uh in a way you can you can think of them as unique badges uh that you can fire that you can fire off when you get hot so here we go we got we just gonna go through the takeovers real quick i think we almost to the end man where we at 17 minutes it is what it is advanced gathers unlocks uh more effective euro spins blah 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 finishing move finish him uh, you know, able to absorb contact and finish at the rim. Easy blow buys. That was right. Like I said, Ron Jesus was right, man. Y'all was tripping on that, man. I, even I said I thought it wasn't real. But I got to say that because if I say this is 100% real and I know it's real, I'm going to get struck or 2K going to knock me down. I got to say that I don't think it's real. Uh, easy blow buys. Enhance the slashes to beat the uh, beats the defenders off the dribble. Uh, pull up precision. Boost, boost well time. Well time slash aim shots off the dribble. That's going to be dope. Uh, ankle. Ankle breaking shots, more ankle breakers off the spin. Uh, negative impact reduces defensive impact as uh, against pull ups and stuff like that. Limitless range, obviously. So they took limitless range and it's no longer a badge, and they made it into into a uh, into a uh, takeover. So they say extends your shooting range uh, out to the logos. That's dope. Uh, let's see, spot up precision boost, well aimed time shots, uh, jump shots. So that's what I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the uh, spot up precision, obviously. Uh, teammate ratings boost, playmaker boost the team. Ooh, playmaker can boost the team rate offensive ratings. Let's see, team takeover boost, um, boost the team's takeover meter progress. So I could do that. That'll be dope. Uh, team team badge. It's gonna be a lot of joints. I wonder if they're gonna let you change your takeover based on the situation though. Like if you could. If you don't have to just choose two takeovers from the jump, and you can change it throughout the course of how your player is. So let's say if I take the shooting takeover and I take the defensive takeover, will I have the ability to change that, you know, not during the game, but while other games, you know, like in between games and stuff like that. That'll be dope as hell if they do that. Uh, let me see. Boost your teammates takeover. Your yeah, uh, team badge boost. Uh, boost your teammates badges up a tier. Wow, that's going to be dope. Extreme clamps. This is going to be the defensive one. Um, more stone wall and and lost dribble body ups uh you know resolution for the locks that's that's gonna be dope perimeter badge perimeter badge drop knocks uh, knock shooting badge down a tier uh that i thought that already happened anyway uh enhanced jump shot contest boost the ability to contest jump shots yeah that's cool uh stuff blocks unlock unlock more swap blocks uh, backboard pins and and grab blocks, so that's gonna be cool. Uh, paint intimidation boost the ability to affect shots around the rim, like yeah, normal paint protector. Interior interior badge drop. 
you drop people badges in the interior. And I think that's good. Box out wall improves the ability to steal, to seal off opponents for easy boards. I, I like that. See the future. We know what that was, where you can see where see where the ball going when they miss. Glass cleaner dimes. That's gonna be dope because I could probably get this. You get a board, you kick it out. Dude got a better chance to hit the shot. That's dope. That should be an actual badge. I feel like, but you know, that's just me. Uh, power. Power backboards, easier to push defenders around when posting up, so that's cool. Oh, power back downs, I'm sorry. Uh, post play making, uh, boost the ability, the teammates' offensive ability. Uh, advanced post moves, easier to beat defenders with the post. I hope they tone that down, because that, that, that was just straight out ridiculous. And uh, post shot daggers, increased scoring ability with hooks, fades, shimmies, and etc. Okay, that's cool right there, man. I, I'm, I, can, with, I can go with all of that. We've also changed the takeover to be multi-tier system. Like we said, we already said that once you set up your ratings and your vitals, you'll be presented, you'll be presented with a subset of, uh, you'll be presented with a subset of the list above of the uh, type of build that you, of uh, type of build that you made. Then choose, then choose one ability for your favorite primary and another one for your secondary. Or, or if you want, you can put the same ability in both slots if you if you want to uh if you want to double it up let's see when when you're in the when you're in the game your takeover meter will fill up to the primary slot first once filled you can choose to activate it right away or you can or you can fill it up to the secondary slot you must be careful because you take the risk of losing it all yes we know that it's just like team takeover you know when you get the regular takeover if you make one bad play you already lost it uh if you turn the ball over if you miss a shot but if you can fill up the secondary slot you can activate both primary and secondary takeovers, uh, takeovers together, and keep the and keep them active for a longer period of time. Finally, if you want to devastate your opponent even further, you can await you can wait even longer and try to fill up team takeover. If you if you can fill if you can fill up all three, activating will enable your entire team's takeovers, and it's pretty much uh it's pretty much over for the competition. That's cool. I mean, it's the same thing it is this year. And just like current gen, I activated team takeover also also allows uh, allows you to have user control over the teammates. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I can smack it. This is in my career and my GM and stuff like that. Uh, last thing I wanted to mention about takeover, we wanted to honor a late friend, Kobe Bryant, who was tragically lost way too early uh, this year. When you're when you've earned all your badge points. You can receive you re you will receive the Mamba Mentality Badge, which allows you to change. Yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. The Mamba Mentality Badge, which which allows you to change your takeovers whenever you want. So just like Kobe, you can vary you can vary up how you uh, how you choose to take uh how you choose to take over from one game to the next. This is what I'm talking about. This is the type of stuff that should be in the game. Let me change my takeover. But once you, you got to get all your badge points, and then you can get your mama mentality badge. You can change your takeover. That's what I was saying. Like I don't have to be able to choose at the beginning of the game, but we might go to the park, and this day I might I, my defense might be needed, so I double up on defense, or I'll be like I want swats and rebounds or something like that. And then you know maybe I can maybe I can choose my uh, sharp shooting takeover. If I got a sharp glass or something like that, that's gonna be dope as hell. I can't lie to y'all, man. Yes. Yes. Uh, next gen was also an opportunity to, res to reset a lot of the uh, areas in gameplay. This is this was especially true when it came to uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, let me see, artificial intelligence. Some of these items immediately noticeable, and some of them uh, some of them are more nuanced for the hardcore X's and O's hoop heads. But uh, but one thing is for certain. Two things for sure. NBA 2K21 continues to lead the way in accurately modeling and uh, respective spot uh, respective sport respecting the sport in its respective sport better than anyone else uh yeah we don't care about none of that defense uh new new switching logic this is for ai and stuff like that new switching for logic for off ball and stuff like that i don't think anybody really know and really cares about that uh adaptive ai on the they, they just got new new ways to screw us on defense and stuff like that i'm not about to read all this man improve logic with the ai like who cares about that i don't think anybody really cares about that next gen uh, this is for offensive AI next gen game planning. This is a great, the great new feature that allows players and AI to have more specific game plans for for their teams. I don't even think anybody's gonna really worry about none of that stuff, man. It is what it is. But um, let's just I'm not I'm not about to go through that, bro, because I don't think anybody cares about that stuff. Um, like you said, you can move specific plays and play, like like we'll we'll figure that stuff out when we get to it. Closing thoughts, as I stated, NBA 2K. 
uh, 21 current gen blog for weeks, uh, you know, weeks ago. It's been a roller coaster. Uh, let me see with the changes with the changes to our work for home cult work from home culture and other than this, bro. You work you're working on computers. Why why work from home? Like just move the computer to the people stuff and then network it all together. It's just like you're in the building. That stuff. Ain't gonna work. Anyway, uh, roll out the current. <laughs> I'm amazed at the talent and the and the grit that. Um, that the entire visual concepts team has shown has shown over their over this wild year and again a huge thanks to the uh, to the gameplay engineers and designers and blah blah blah. Let me see. I hope that, that, that man, damn all that. Look, let's look at some of this LeBron stuff, bro. Mike, we appreciate you, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. We we definitely appreciate you. But let's let's just look at some of this this beautiful gameplay, man. And that's all we got. But like I said, the one thing, look at this, look at this dude right here. Brutal Sim. You was right. Brutal Sim on the scene with you and me with a next video for y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm excited for this joint, man. I saw a lot of stuff that I like, uh, some stuff that I potentially may not like. But we're going to see, man. We're going to see how it goes. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Don't forget to like the video. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Godspeed. Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good